Hello, this is Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Since last time, I restocked on power pills for everyone. Oh, well, not Jiggle Liang, of course, but uh, I, got, I bought more for gunning there, too. So now that we're set and ready to go, let's head on back to Jindu and see what's going on around here. Hey, Lumang, how's it going, dude? Oh, yeah, I suppose we have. Will it involve violence? It does! For boss time against Lumang. Okay, so with this guy, let's see. Yeah, he's another Jameon tactician, but fortunately, I have a way around that this time. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to have... Uh, Juga Liang use M Sha on Lumang there. Even with his high intelligence, I should still have at least a 50 50 shot of being able to kill him. Okay, well, that works. At least we can get through these attacks quickly. But yeah, we got it. There we go. Well, at least we got the hard part out of the way. If I need to, I could use some damaging tactic. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Let's just use Kuo Shen. That should finish up the job here quite nicely. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, usually the problem with Jameon is that I can't use my physical attacks and they have so much intelligence that my tactics can't hit them either. But in this case, dump, we got a little lucky there. Hooray! What about him? I've beaten him like four times by now off screen. But thanks for the warning, I guess. But, uh, oh right, I've done everything I need to do there. Let's uh, see what else is going on, Jindu. I'm not Zhang Bao. Why does everyone keep calling me that? Wow, there's a lot more of these hard-coded text boxes that, uh, than I remember. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, sure, why not? What did they do? You're not going to tell us, are you? Oh, okay, well, but, uh, you should have said that first. Now, you don't actually have to talk to this guy in order to activate the side quest or, like, a sequence trigger or something. No, no. You could just go do it and come back, and he'll have the same reaction anyway. But I figured I'd just show you, hey, here's how you're supposed to know. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, we have been kind of killing everyone. But more empty houses. Okay. Oh. What else is going on around here? Oh, yeah, we've been looking for that guy to murder him. One of the, yeah, he's one of those guys that was declaring himself emperor. But if you go over here... Nope, there's nothing here. I just uh, thought it looked a little conspicuous there. Nah. Okay, so, yeah, let's go take a look for those brigands to the south. Okay, so, let's get, yeah, the equipment back over to Gunning, where it belongs. And let's see, I, yeah, I should get the, or get Chitu Ma back over to Xiaoyun. And... Yeah, we'll switch out Zhuge Liang for Gunning, even though it's... I mean, I'm going to be using Zhuge Liang in the very near future anyway. But who knows what the encounter is going to be like on the way to the end. Okay, so... Let's see, with Gunning... Yeah, now Zhao Yun has even more soldiers than Gunning. So, yeah, let's just switch their positions around... And make Zhuge Liang my tactician. I think we're good to go. So, let's head to the south then. Of course, if all we have are rebels around here to kill, that would make this trip a lot faster. It's a relatively short trip though to get down there. So, feel free to use your tactics. Although, I do plan on using some. Quite a lot of them actually let's see this guy oh he's nothing to worry about yeah just go all out 
I don't know what he was trying to do, but it didn't really do a whole lot. Some sort of tactic sound effect going on there. Ah, there we go. Okay, we made it. Now, let's uh, bring Zhuge Liang back into the active lineup because I'm going to be using a lot of tactics. It would be nice if I could bring Zhou Yu into the active lineup, but, well, someone has to be my tactician and they would be out of the active lineup. So that's going to be Zhou Yu. Okay, so, oh, good thing I wasn't uh, already up there to talk to the guy. Let's try that again. There you go. Well, I suppose it's better to accidentally select the pass command than the drop command. I'm surprised I haven't done that yet. You, that's such an easy thing to do by accident. But, uh, okay, so now, let's see, Zhuge Liang... Let's see, yeah, we'll just put him back where we had him before. Okay, so, like that. And I think we're good. I did equip everything, right? Okay, good. I don't need Chituma on Zhuge Liang for this one because I'm not going to be using Ensha. I'm simply using Zhou Yu because he has less intelligence. And I don't want him in the active party, but, uh... Hey, how's it going? I thought, uh... Liu Bei used to be a uh, farmer or something, but we're not all farmers. For boss time against pirates. Not pirate forces, just pirates. But uh, yeah, these guys have quite a bit of attack power there, but fortunately they have really low intelligence. So what I want to do is use Huo Shen on them. Even though they're pirates, we can't use Shui Long against them. We gotta go with Huo Shen here since we're indoors, I suppose. And then, okay, let's go. Yeah, one more Huo Shen. And let's get Jameon on these guys. Not that they're that extraordinarily dangerous with their physical attacks. Just that it's the only thing they can do. So I might as well prevent them from being able to do much of anything while I start chipping away at, well, I was going to say their HP, but no, uh, they're brigands, I guess, not even really soldiers. But whatever gets the job done there. Yeah, even my uh, less intelligent generals can deal pretty good damage. Fortunately, with Zhuge Liang, not only does his intelligence help his accuracy with tactics but also the damage that we can get out of it because it uses the damage is based on either the user's strength or intelligence depending on which one is greater there oh hey we got 666 there <laughs> nice let's see two more potions ought to be more than enough to get the job done I'm actually a little surprised at the accuracy. You'd figure with using this, like, I don't know, what, 20 times by now? That, uh, one of... There you go. Yeah, I mean, you... Usually, there's, like, a 1 in 16 chance to miss for, like, Zhuge Liang and Zhao Yun. And, yeah, it took until now for that to happen, but... All right, we got him. And we gained another level. What do we get out of this one? More soldiers. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. We were forced to become brigands. But, uh... Well, that's it. We're just gonna let them go? Okay. Well, I guess I gotta kind of keep the story simple there. But, uh... Oh, right. So, now... Let's see, we got, yeah, going. Let's get back over to Jizhou because I need to rest up and restock on goings while I'm here. I'm surprised I was able to leave outside the outer wall there without going to the world map there, but uh, no, apparently not. 
But, uh, okay, so let's get a couple more goings for my use. Unfortunately, I don't think they sell them back at, uh, Jindu there. Okay, so we get all that. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're good then. But what reward will we get for defeating the pirates? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!